We're getting closer than ever to seeing the full potential of Optimus unfold. The rapid pace at which Tesla's humanoid robot is advancing is nothing short of remarkable, consistently drawing attention wherever it appears. Tesla has become the pioneer in creating a humanoid robot with an estimated production cost of just $10,000, a groundbreaking achievement. Now, production efforts are ramping up with the goal of delivering thousands of units for a major initiative set to launch next year. Elon Musk recently outlined even more ambitious targets. The plan is to eventually manufacture between half a million and one million Optimus robots. It's an astonishing figure, and things seem to be moving much faster than anyone had anticipated. If Musk's claim that the Tesla bot can be produced for around $10,000 holds true, and if it sells for approximately $20,000, it becomes easier to envision millions, or even billions, of these robots being sold over time. This vision sheds light on why Musk sees Optimus as Tesla's most important future product. The upcoming Gen 3 version is expected to carry a higher price, likely aiming at a premium market. Yet, it should still remain the most cost-effective humanoid robot globally. But what exactly allows Tesla to keep Optimus so affordable? And how is the company able to progress at such an incredible pace? Welcome to Tesla Car World, where the Optimus project stands as a pivotal element in Tesla's evolution. It's not just about cars anymore. It's about transforming into a full-fledged technology powerhouse. Elon Musk believes Optimus could be a massive commercial success, potentially propelling Tesla's valuation beyond the $25 trillion mark. Whether or not you're considering purchasing an Optimus someday, one thing is clear. Competition will be fierce. When Tesla released a limited collectible edition of the robot last year, it sold out within mere hours a clear indication of the enormous public interest. If everything stays on track, production is expected to scale up dramatically next year, reaching between 50,000 and 100,000 units. In the following year, the goal is to ramp up even further, potentially hitting 500,000 units, all within just three years. Earlier this year, Musk shared that mass production is just about to kick off, with Giga Texas expected to deliver between 5,000 and 10,000 units. By 2026, the number could soar to 100,000 robots annually. Musk is optimistic that Optimus production can grow exponentially year over year, a feat that might seem unrealistic for most companies, but feels surprisingly plausible when it comes to Tesla. Even established players in the robotics field, like Boston Dynamics, are struggling to keep up. Their CEO has acknowledged that Tesla is achieving in a single year what the industry has been working toward for decades, a testament to the disruptive force Tesla is bringing to robotics. At the end of the day, having the most advanced product isn't enough if it's priced out of reach. Tesla knows this well. The success of the Model 3 and Model Y stems from a perfect balance of innovation and affordability a formula Tesla now appears to be applying to the humanoid robot market. While Tesla's higher-end models, like the Model X and Model S, showcase cutting-edge technologies, it's the more accessible models that drive the bulk of sales. The same dynamic is likely to play out with Optimus. Companies and consumers alike want innovation, but only if it comes at a price they can afford. When we look at the current market for humanoid robots, whether in China or North America, Prices typically fall between $80,000 and over $100,000. Many of these robots never even reach consumers, mainly because their high production costs make large-scale manufacturing impractical. A notable example is Boston Dynamics Atlas, a project that, despite nearly a decade of effort, never achieved mass production and was ultimately shelved. Against this backdrop, what Tesla is accomplishing with Optimus is truly remarkable. While other companies are spending hundreds of thousands per robot, Tesla aims to bring its humanoid robot to market for just $20,000. Achieving this goal depends heavily on mastering large-scale production. Elon Musk has mentioned that the internal production cost for Optimus is roughly $10,000, planning to sell it at around $20,000 per unit. Selling just 100,000 robots would already generate a billion dollars in profit. And Musk's ambitions go far beyond that, 
envisioning billions of robots deployed around the world. Despite being relatively new to the field of robotics, Elon Musk has pulled off something extraordinary, creating robots at an extremely low cost. Tesla managed this by leveraging technology originally developed for its electric vehicles. Essential parts like batteries, motors, sensors, actuators, and cameras are produced in-house, drawing from Tesla's deep experience in EV manufacturing. And these components make up a large part of the robot's overall cost. Another major advantage is Tesla's production setup at Giga Texas. This massive facility already has the infrastructure needed for high-volume manufacturing, keeping costs down even as production scales up. Musk has also pointed out that many of Tesla's vehicle technologies, such as advanced power electronics, cutting-edge motors, transmissions, artificial intelligence systems, and even its neural inference hardware, are being adapted for Optimus. This means Tesla isn't building from scratch. Instead, it's repurposing its existing technology, greatly accelerating development and scaling. One of Tesla's biggest competitive edges over traditional robotics companies is its limited reliance on third-party suppliers. By producing most components internally, Tesla can slash costs dramatically. That's part of why Musk is confident the company can deliver thousands of Optimus robots by 2025 at the targeted $10,000 production cost. Examples include Optimus's custom-built battery pack and compact motors derived from Tesla's electric cars, both key factors in driving costs lower. The brain of Optimus borrows heavily from Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, the same foundation behind Tesla's full self-driving system, and also incorporates technologies from Musk's AI ventures like Grok and XAI. Musk even compared Tesla's potential in humanoid robotics to the iconic C- 3PO from Star Wars, underscoring the company's lead in scalable manufacturing and artificial intelligence. Tesla sees itself as the global leader in practical AI development. Musk says Tesla already has all the critical pieces to build a truly functional robot capable of adapting to multiple environments. The only hurdle now is the time needed for Optimus to learn, gather experience, and refine its skills. By 2026, Tesla expects Optimus to be ready for widespread commercial release. When that milestone is reached, Optimus is expected to handle almost any task a person might ask, from answering questions with more intelligence than current AI chatbots to using body language and gestures during interactions, something Tesla showcased at the We Robot conference last October. Recent demonstrations showed Optimus performing everyday activities such as watering plants carrying groceries, tidying up a kitchen, and moving items from a car into a house. Designed primarily as a domestic helper, Optimus aims to make daily life safer and easier, whether by helping care for children, assisting elderly people, or supporting families with household chores. Already, Tesla has demonstrated that Optimus can engage in natural conversation, build connections with seniors, and even assist in children's education through personalized responses and activities. These abilities highlight Optimus's potential to become an active part of everyday life, far from being just a novelty. Still, despite the excitement, many remain skeptical. Doubts persist. Will the robot be reliable? Will it run out of power too quickly? Will it require constant human supervision? These concerns are completely valid, and even Tesla acknowledges that Optimus still relies on remote operation in many of its current tests which naturally raises questions about how autonomous it really is. For a lot of people, a humanoid robot only becomes truly useful when it can operate independently, without requiring step-by-step -step instructions for every action. After all, nobody wants a robot that needs to be manually programmed for every little task. However, it's important to understand that the use of remote control at this stage is purely for accelerating development. It doesn't mean Optimus won't eventually achieve full autonomy. This early phase is crucial for refining the robot skills and preparing it for real-world use by consumers. While traditional AI models usually depend on vast amounts of training data, Tesla is taking a different route with its robot. Optimus is being designed to learn through observation. According to Elon Musk, Simply showing the robot a video of someone completing a task 
is enough for it to replicate the action, even if it hasn't been specifically trained for it before. In a recent post on X, formerly Twitter, Musk stated that Optimus could start performing tasks independently as soon as next year. He also mentioned that Tesla is finalizing the integration of the robot's vision system with its arms, enabling it to pick up objects automatically. This development is expected to be completed in the upcoming quarter. So far, tests have focused heavily on the robot's actuation and sensor systems, and the team is encouraged by the progress. If the pace holds, major breakthroughs could arrive even sooner than anticipated. Musk further revealed that Optimus is undergoing a major design overhaul. He admitted that redesigning the robot's architecture has been one of the toughest parts of the project, but it's a necessary step for scaling production effectively. The new iteration will be called Generation 3, a special version intended to bring significant improvements. Tesla aims to produce between 5,000 and 10,000 units by the end of this year. Unlike Tesla's vehicles, however, scaling up the production of humanoid robots presents a unique set of challenges. Despite sharing some components with electric cars, assembling a human-shaped robot is an entirely different endeavor. The manufacturing lines can't just be copied over from Tesla's automotive production. They have to be built and optimized specifically for robotics. Creating a machine that moves like a human is a monumental task. Every component must be carefully designed to strike the right balance between functionality and efficiency. Adding too many heavy parts, like oversized actuators or large battery packs, can make the robot clumsy and difficult to move. On the flip side, oversimplifying the systems would limit its capabilities. Achieving the right balance remains one of the project's biggest technical hurdles especially at this early stage. Another vital factor is how the Tesla bot's brain develops. Unlike traditional software, where programs are installed and ready to run, Optimus needs to learn through repeated practice. Engineers must remotely guide it through various tasks, gathering detailed information on every movement, mistake, and success. This learning process must be repeated countless times until the robot can perform tasks reliably and autonomously. Take washing dishes, for example. It might take Optimus a full week or more to learn how to do it properly. In the beginning, the robot might break plates, miss spots, or make other small errors. But with each attempt, it learns from its mistakes, gradually refining its actions until it can complete the task perfectly. This is why, over the past year, Tesla has increasingly relied on remote control training for Optimus. This method allows the robot to collect real-world data and adjust its behavior accordingly. A good illustration of this progress can be seen in a demonstration video. When a battery cell slipped off a tray, Optimus detected the mistake and corrected it by repositioning the item, a response shaped by earlier learning experiences. Tesla's strategy is to train Optimus much like humans learn, by making mistakes, learning from them, and getting better over time. Just as we fumble when trying something new and eventually improve with practice, the robot must also follow this learning curve. By interacting with the real world and processing real-time data, Optimus is learning to navigate and perform tasks in human environments. However, reaching full autonomy is a long, gradual process, similar to the extensive training that Tesla's autonomous driving systems undergo. Switching gears a little, but staying on the topic of innovation, there's exciting news about the future of electric vehicle batteries. A breakthrough technology promises to slash charging times from 10% to 80% in under 10 minutes. The company leading this innovation is Svolt, a subsidiary of Great Wall Motors, which has been making waves with its cutting-edge electrification solutions. Initially created to bolster GWM's electric vehicle lineup, Svolt has gone beyond expectations by developing batteries that not only charge rapidly, but also raise the bar for the entire industry. Imagine pulling up to a charging station during a road trip and, within just nine minutes, having most of your battery recharged. It's a game-changer for electric vehicle owners and could dramatically shift public perception. While ultra-fast charging is especially valuable on long journeys, most daily driving routines are already well served by overnight home charging. This underlines how EVs fit seamlessly into modern lifestyles where speed and convenience are key. 
One of Svolt's standout innovations is its third-generation short-blade battery. Built using lithium iron phosphate, LFB, technology renowned for its safety and longevity, the company has managed to push past LFB's traditional energy density limitations. The new batteries reach up to 185WH-KG and support an impressive 6C fast charging rate. Best of all, these batteries aren't just about speed, they're also built to last. They come with warranties of up to 15 years or 600,000 kilometers, setting a new benchmark for durability, even surpassing the reliability of many internal combustion engines. Other major players like CETL are also pushing boundaries, offering batteries designed to last up to 1 million kilometers, a first in automotive history. These advancements are helping electric cars move closer to completely replacing gasoline-powered vehicles. Features like ultra-fast charging, extended lifespan, and dependable performance, even in extreme conditions, give electric vehicles a growing advantage. Plus, since EVs don't rely on oxygen for combustion, they operate more efficiently at high altitudes, where traditional engines often struggle. As many nations work toward phasing out combustion engines by 2030, the case for choosing a gasoline or diesel vehicle becomes harder to make. And who knows? Tesla could soon integrate some of these new battery breakthroughs into their future models, taking performance and convenience to an entirely new level. What about you? What do you think about the latest developments with the Tesla bot and these impressive new batteries? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and share. And if you want to stay updated on everything happening with Tesla and cutting-edge tech, make sure to subscribe to the channel.